It's Wednesday, April 3rd. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. A chase on I-4 comes to a crashing end, and investigators say the man behind the wheel was wanted for holding a woman captive for months. The chase actually began yesterday in the Lakeland area, but didn't end until the driver tried to get off at the exit to John Young Parkway in Orlando. The highway patrol says at times, 48-year-old Walter Medina was going over 100 miles an hour on the highway before he ran a red light, then collided with a raised median, disabling his car. Investigators had been looking for Medina after a woman told authorities he had held her captive since January assaulting her with a baseball bat and screwdriver and threatening to kill her if she tried to get away. Medina has a long history of arrests, including kidnapping and false imprisonment charges. He's now being held without bond at the Orange County Jail. Brevard County could soon become the latest school district in Florida to add weapon detection systems to schools. The school board got a presentation yesterday from a company called OpenGate. Several other districts, including Orange County, already use their system, which the company says can detect weapons and other banned items. Each device costs $17,000. The superintendent says the conversation will continue about whether or not to move forward with the proposal. And we now know when United Launch Alliance will attempt to send its Delta IV heavy rocket on its final mission. NASA says they will try again on Tuesday, April 9th. Right now, liftoff is set for 12.53 in the afternoon from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. ULA attempted the launch last week, but a technical problem forced them to scrub at the last minute. When the rocket does lift off, it'll be the 16th and final launch of the Delta IV heavy. You can find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. In 2018, artist Jason Tetlack set out to paint the world's largest 3D painting. After considering several locations, he decided on an open wall in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Jacksonville. The location inspired the subject of his painting, the song No Sleep Till Brooklyn by the iconic hip-hop trio The Beastie Boys. Tetlack spent more than 50 hours over a week completing the 1,900-square-foot work. The mural features the faces of all three members of The Beastie Boys and the song's title. It appears three-dimensional when viewed through 3D glasses. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.